Hi, welcome along to Arsenal Fan TV, and this is the aftermath. <laughs> Well, it's just great to be talking about our home victory at last. 2-0, uh, but really and truly, let's have it right. It should have been 5 or 6 nil. Fia Walcott, that header he missed, I couldn't believe it. And Giroud, when he came on, missed that absolute sitter one-on-one. -on -one. Ozil missed an easy chance. Sanchez hit the post. And when they did get it on target... The goalkeeper for Stoke, Jack Butland, was absolutely brilliant and in, on inspired form. So, it's, uh, trust me, it could have been a game where we could have scored five, six goals. But still, we won 2-0. Both of our strikers scored, which I think was very positive considering we were going into the game and lots of doubts about strikers. So, it was great to see um, Theo scoring. And it was great to see Giroud scoring. In particular, I thought, in Giroud's case, because... The chance that he missed was very similar to the chance that he'd missed for France during the week for which he got booed for. I do think he's a guy that, if everybody's on his case, his head does start to drop a bit. So, for his confidence, I thought he's fantastic. And let's not forget, he's got two goals already this season. And I was watching some games on Sunday and you saw Harry Kane missing easy chances. He hasn't scored yet this season. Um, Defoe, I saw, miss an easy chance. So, listen, it's not a given that every chance it's going to be buried. But if we were a bit sharper in front of goal, I think that we really, really could have won that by a lot more. But I was pleased. I was pleased. Win at home, at last. We've got that out of the way because, you know, that would have been lingering. We still haven't won at home. Scored at home, so fantastic. And up to, what was it, third in the table, joint third um, with Manchester United. So all in all, a very, very good weekend. Let's take a look and see what you guys have had to say about the game at the weekend. Um, Vengarino says, uh, Ozil was magic. Everything came through him, a joy to watch, absolutely. You know what, me and Mr. Cameraman sitting behind here, you can't see his face at the moment. He's laughing because we were having an argument on Saturday because he was trying to tell me that he didn't think Ozil played well. Ozil was running the show. Listen, there was a few times where he got pushed off the ball, etc. Like, you know, but that's not his game. You get that guy the ball and he starts just running things and the assist for Theo Walcott's goal. I mean, you watch it again. Great tackle by Coquelin, who, by the way, was my man in a match. Great tackle by Coquelin. But then Ozil just almost instinctively hit that ball on a plate for Theo, absolutely world-class. Um, Casey says, great performance. Alexis was unlucky not to score, and Ozil's assist was beautiful. And he says, uh, Giroud for Walcott is what he says. Uh, by the way, Alexis, again, very unlucky. Hit the post, all action. He just needs a goal, um, Alexis, to get him going. But I think we're going to see a similar Alexis to what we saw last season. Only Arsenal fans said, good win, but our finishing highlighted our need for a world-class striker. I think we're going to have to forget about that world-class striker thing now. Let's just shelve that until at least January anyway. Um, and let's get behind the guys we got. Listen, you know what? Theo Walcott, if he stays fit, stays fit for the whole season, I'm going to go and I'm going to put 20 quid on it. That if he... If he stays fit for the season, I know he'll get 20 goals for Arsenal. I know he'll get it. And I'm going to go and put a 20 on that. <laughs> you laugh behind that camera. I, I, honestly, I've got faith in Theo. He always scores goals. What does him is he gets injured. Then he's got to come back. Then if he stays injury-free, guaranteed 20 goals off of Theo Walcott. Um, the Daily Arsenal says... Uh, Will our lack of clinical finishing cost us versus the bigger teams this season as we will naturally have fewer chances anyway, which is very true. We cannot afford to be so, you know, wasteful with our chances when we're playing Chelsea next week, for instance. Um, Benjamin Korolik says, uh, Bellerin, Monreal were fantastic. Agree with him. Theo will get better and better up front. Give him a run. And Coquelin is what we needed for so long spot on there with Coquelin. The guy, you know, Wenger said it. He goes, if we'd have bought this guy for like 30 million in January last year, 
everybody will be raving over him even more. It's the fact that he sort of was with the team or went away to Charlton. I don't think he gets the props he deserves. He's fantastic. Such a vital player for Arsenal right now. Just praying he stays injury-free. Flirt Zuka says, Walcott has 11 goals in his last 11 starts. A lot of people forget those statistics. Um, good three points to get the team going. Ramsey, though, he said he's not a winger. Him or Santi should drop to the bench. That's going to be very interesting to see what they do with that um, come the weekend against Chelsea. I get the feeling they still will both play. Um, Ab says, nice win. One point I have to make is that Gabriel must stay as a starter. Unbelievable partnership with Koscielny. I think Gabriel's got to stay in there as well. He's growing into the team. I love Mertesacker, but Gabriel, I think next week, he's quicker. And I, I, you know what I liked in that game? There was a bit in that game where I can't remember which the Stoke player it was, but they were both running through. And he tried to give like an elbow to uh, Gabriel. And Gabriel's like, what? Boom. And give him one back. I like that. We need a bit more of that hardcore players at Arsenal. And I loved what Gabriel did there, even though I shouldn't be bigging up stuff like that. But I loved it. And Gabriel must stay in the team for me. Um... Uh, finally here, John N says, not good enough. Yes, we won, but we could have won by at least five. The finishing of the players needs to be worked on. There was that fan that I interviewed on um, Saturday who said that I was deluded if I thought that was a good win. I'm sorry, it's a good win. Of course, the finishing needs to be worked on. It is still early in the season. Finishing like that can cost you a bit against the bigger teams. When we play... In the Champions League, for instance, against Zagreb, can't afford to miss chances like that when on that high level. So, yes, the finishing needs to be better, but it's just good to see both strikers who've been under getting lots of stick, both of them to get onto the score sheets. And remember that statistic, but was it Flirt Zuka said? 11 goals in 11 games by Theo Walker. Is that not good? Let me know. Let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of the performance and also how you're feeling going into that game against Chelsea. That is a massive game. Chelsea are on the ropes at the moment. Trust me, they're on the ropes. They're off to their worst start since 1980-something. Marino's swearing at people. You know what I mean? They, they, they had the whole incident with the Eva, the trainer. It's just a mess at Chelsea at the moment. Is this a good time to catch Chelsea? Because they're not performing, Terry's not performing, their defence is leaking goals. Or is this a bad time? Because they know that if they get a win against Arsenal, that will kind of put them back on track and take a lot of the talk off them. But if they lose that game to Arsenal, I mean, this could be, you know, the job prospects of Marino might be going lower and lower if they lose that game. So it's a vital game for Chelsea. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do the usual and just part the bus. And for Arsenal, if we go there and we're focused, just like when we went to Manchester City last season, and I go with Theo up front, go with pace, I really think we can get a result there. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to check out um, our website. Loads of stuff on our website at the moment, um, as well as the videos. Loads of um, stories on there. And also check out our shop for the latest merch. Thanks for watching Arsenal Fan TV. Please with a victory. Let's do it against Chelsea. So I want to donate a new set of tyres to Chelsea Football Club. Hey! These tyres are from Nigeria. Wazobia tyres. <laughs> Oboge tyres. They will use it and pack the bus. Use it to replace your Kahaba tyres that are fake. <laughs> These tyres, Robbie, please. No, seriously. You, you, 